Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today we're going to be making a house pomander. You'll need to download the template sheet, you'll find the link for that in the description box down below. Or if you are a member of my Tilda Lovers group on Facebook, you'll find it in that group files as well. So along the bottom you'll find this little house shape that you will need to cut out. Um, and the other ones you don't necessarily have to cut out because we're going to trace those in a moment. But cut out that big shape on the bottom there. And now you're going to need some felt. So with the felt here, we're going to trace around our house shape with a pencil. And we're going to do that twice because we need two of these little houses. Okay. So you can see there's one there. And then we have one here. So you'll need to cut those out on the traced line. So we'll just do that very quickly. Now I'm using a wool blend felt. Wool blend felt has a little bit more stability to it than normal acrylic felt. You can still use acrylic felt, of course, if you wish, but um, if it has a little bit of wool or even a bit of rayon in it, it does keep its shape a little bit better. And with our 12 weeks of Christmas coming up, we're going to be using a bit of felt as well. Felt's a really great um, fabric to be using in your craft room. It's quite versatile and lots of fun to use. So there we go. Now when we um, put this together, we're going to make sure that our traced side is on the inside because I've used pencil, I can't remove that. If you wanted to use a water soluble pen, that would be fine, it wouldn't matter which side you use because you're going to turn it over. Okay, so we have our two little house shapes there. Now you can just set those off to one side for a moment. So what we've got now is our little templates here and we're going to get some applique paper, which is fusible applique paper. We have some at the kittyrosecottage.com. It's called Tilda Fix. Um, no relation to Tilda, but anyway. So what I've done is I have traced off one of this shape here, one of the triangle shape, one of this smaller rectangle, and two of these tiny squares. So you can see that I have them there and my triangle is here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to choose some fabric. So this part here is our roof. This is our window, and we've traced off two of those. This one is the body of our house, and this one here is our door. So what we need to do is to choose some scraps of fabric that we're going to be using for those um, sections. And then we're going to cut these out roughly so that we aren't cutting it out on the trace line. We've got a bit of an area still left around it. And of course the windows are gonna be the same fabric so we can cut those two out together. So our little windows I'm going to do in this lovely blue. So what we will do is just cut off the bit that we need. And then we're gonna take this over to the ironing board and we're going to fuse the fusible side here onto the wrong side of the fabric. Now we need to do that for all of our shapes and you can choose the same fabric or you can choose different fabrics um, to go with all of your different areas. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll take them over to the ironing board, iron them and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've started to cut these out. So I've cut out the roof and I've cut out the body of the little house there. So now we're gonna cut out the door. And then we have our two little windows. There's one. And two. 
just get rid of our template sheet. We don't need that anymore for the moment. Okay, so we're going to take one of our pieces of felt, and as I said, I have my trace side, um, which will end up being on the inside of the pomander. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down all of our pieces. Now, the easiest way to get the backing off is to give it a little tear, or you can use a pin or a needle to tear the paper off, but it just simply peels off like that. And then when you apply heat, it'll be fused to your felt. But for now, we're just going to lay it down in place so I can show you before I use it, the uh, hot iron. So once again, we just start to tear that paper and it comes away very easily. And so you can pop your, your triangle up there. Now, we're looking for a scrappy finish here. We don't want a really neat finish. We want this to look patched and scrappy and just, you know, cute little house. So there's our door and then we have our two little windows. So we're going to fuse it all down with a hot iron and then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're just going to really roughly sew them down. And when I say rough, I mean rough. <laughs> we, we want them to look really really scrappy. Now you can use a darker coloured thread if you want. I'm just going to stick with white for mine, but um, I'll take you over to the machine in a moment and show you anyway what we do. But I'm just going to go over to the ironing board and fuse these down and then we'll go to the sewing machine. Okay, so here we are at the machine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roughly stitch around the edge of this so I'm stitching around the edge of the front of the little house at the moment. As I said, I'm just doing it really rough. So I'm going to go forward and back. this to look really rough. Snip that off. We'll go back down there again. sure if you can see there but that's pretty pretty rough looking so we're going to do the same thing around the roof So I'll just keep going around the windows now and the door and then we'll get to the next stage. Okay, so what you're going to do next is to cut a small piece of ribbon, um, whichever length you want, but we're going to use this as a chimney, but it's also going to be a hanger. So we're going to actually attach it to our little house off to the side there like that. So it sort of hangs and sits like a chimney. And you can see on the inside there, I've got it hanging over a fair way. So I'm just going to follow the line, I'll turn it over, and I'm going to follow the line of that stitching that I already have on there so that it is nice and uh, flush and that we know it's not going to move. Just... And there we go. So that is attached there like so. Right, so what we're going to do now is take our other piece I'll just trim up the front of this just to give it a bit of a tidy up, but the idea is it's supposed to look a bit scrappy, so don't worry about it too much. Um, now, of course, you can decorate the front of your little pomanda with anything that you want. You could put a little button on here for a little doorknob, whatever you want to do, really. Um, but I'm just going to glue mine on at the end. I'm not going to bother stitching it on. 
so all of my um, embellishments will get glued. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our two pieces of felt back together and then we're going to use a couple of pins just to pin them pin them in place so that they're sort of lined up. Doesn't worry, don't worry too much if they don't line up completely because um, we can trim the felt later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch from the top of the roof here, or actually around about here, we'll stay if we say here, just near the window, and we're just going to stitch in about a quarter of an inch from the edge all the way around our little house, and then we're going to stop around about down here so that we've got an opening here so that we can stuff it with a little bit of stuffing and some lavender. So we will start down the bottom here, and we're going to swivel at the corners so that we're doing a one continuous stitch. So we're just going to stop just before the corner there, swivel it round, and then we're going to stitch up here again. So then we're going to get to the peak of our roof here, and we're just going to stitch around. And just make sure that my ribbon's poked under nice. stop at the point, swivel again so we can come back down the other side. And then remembering that we're going to stop up here so that we can leave our opening to be closed. And there we go. So when we come back to close this area up here we're going to line back up our stitching. So we'll just take this over now and I'm going to pop some stuffing in here and a bit of lavender and then we'll come back and close up the opening. Okay, there we go. It's all stuffed. We've got uh, lavender in there and some fibre fill. The fibre fill goes right up to the roof there. So all we're going to do is we're going to line up our needle with where we finished off our stitching before. And then we're just going to stitch down to where we stopped and started last time. So go forwards and backwards a little bit just to make sure that we've got that nice locking stitch there so it's not going to come undone. And there we go. So it's all finished and, and tidied up there. So I'm just going to snip the threads and then we'll take it back over to our other table and we'll do a bit of decorating. Okay, there we go. There's our gorgeous little house pomander. So we're at the point now where we're ready to decorate it. Um, and here I've got a selection of, you know, little flowers and little bits and pieces that we could put all along the bottom just to make it look a little bit nicer. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll just grab my little trusty tweezers. Um, and we just have a bit of a play. You just start to decorate it. We could use one of those on the door which I might do, pop that one there on the door, I think that'll be cute. You could use lace, um, you can stitch them all down, or in my case I'm going to hot melt glue them down. So I'm going to use my glue gun. And I do advise that you do this after you finish sewing, it just makes it a lot easier if you don't have to worry about um, all these little bits getting in the way. It does certainly make it, as I said, a lot easier. So you can pop all those little flowers down, down the bottom. As I said, they'd look really nice with lace as well. Just pop a little bit of glue there. Doesn't need very much. So this is a really great project to use your scraps on. I hate throwing away my tilde bits, my tiny little bits like these. Absolutely hate it. You pay really good money for your fabric and I sometimes wish it was like Play-Doh and you could roll it all back up and then roll it out again and have a brand new piece, but it doesn't work like that. So the pieces have to be very, very tiny for me to actually throw them in the bin. Um, and I like to find projects like this that I can utilise, utilise them on. So it's right up my street, this sort of project. But anyway, to make a lovely gift, um, once again, of course, we're always looking for things that we can make to use as gifts. 
and I think this is, is perfect. So the reason I've got this off to the side is because I wanted it to look like a chimney, um, but it can also hang off the side of a coat hanger. And that was the whole idea, so that you can hang it in your clothing and give your clothing that beautiful smell of lavender. So there we go, we've got a little butterfly. We could even put that up through there. There's lots of different bits and pieces. There's the butterfly. Maybe we will we'll use that. Yeah, why not? Um, you can also use some stick-on bling pieces. Um, I've got some of my stamping up ones here. And I am going to pop a little pearl in the middle of that little thing on the door there. Um, these do usually stick really well, so but I could always put a bit of glue under it if I need be. I think it should be okay. Whoops. There we go. Pop a little pearl in there. Look at that. So pretty. So as I said, the possibilities are endless. You can decorate this however you wish. You could embroider. Um, whatever. Whatever you want to do. But as I said, it's a great idea for you to use up your scraps and um, you can get a beautiful little finish and make multiple ones and pop them away for your present box because we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. Believe it or not, we're in August now, so it won't be too long before you're going to need to be going through that present box and getting things out. So I'm just going to pop one more there. So I've got a little row of flowers. And there we go. So that's my sweet little house, Pamanda. I hope that you've enjoyed today's little tutorial. Very, very simple one. Great for using up your scraps. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Talk, talk to you next time. Bye for now.